Good morning, everybody. We are getting ourselves ready for the day. Well, we're really not. We're still sat here in pajamas. <laughs> we are going to get ourselves ready for the day. And I'm just about to do my journal. If anyone is looking for a good journal, this one is so good. I just got it off Amazon. It's easy. I just find some journals actually add stress to your life. <laughs> Every year, I usually get this really big, intense one from Amazon where it's called like Manifest Your Dream Life or something. And it takes ages to fill out. And I think because it just, it encourages you to set these huge, huge goals all the time. And like, I don't know, sometimes you just don't want that, do you? <laughs> But this one's super simple because literally, let me just show you a page. Are you starting to get bored, Bubby? Would you like my bobble? She absolutely loves playing with these. <laughs> this is a page that you fill out for the day. So it's just three little prompts and then those two you do in the evening. And literally, it just asks you to fill out three things you're grateful for, three things that would make today great and a daily affirmation. And with the affirmation, I find it really kind of sticks with me for the day. So I wrote on Sunday when I had an event, I wrote, I am enough as me and embrace who I am in social settings. I was doing my first workout class in person which was so much fun but i i think subconsciously i <laughs> i realized and i was saying to some of the girls when i was there that last year i was such a hermit <laughs> whilst i was pregnant and then when was tiny and i think subconsciously since i've just been putting off doing anything like that like eventy big social settings and have really wanted to do them but there's been like a barrier in my brain that's just been like you can't do it <laughs> but that event on the weekend that i did where i taught a class and did a panel was so good because i feel like it kind of broke the mold and that uh, affirmation actually stuck with me all day <laughs> which i think it's supposed to kind of do where you sort of write something that you bring into your existence for the day but I'm finding it really, really helpful. I would highly recommend that journal if you want something to just pick you up each day and sort of set your days in a kind of more positive way. Guys, do you know what me and Nell watched last night, which I do not remember coming out at all. Let me show you. Where is it? One and a half. Do any of you remember this coming out? Because I do not. Basically, it's Timon and Pumbaa's POV of The Lion King. I don't remember this one either, The Lion King 2, but it was actually quite good. So if you want a Disney film to watch, Lion King 1 and a half. I mean, it will never beat The Lion King 1, but it was still very, very good. Wasn't it, baby? Actually, you were sound asleep, but we will show you it one day. <laughs> Just stop for a spot of brekkie. So me and Nal have got our... <laughs> the way they do the sausages now. <laughs> Funny, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was about to eat that. I was going to say a Yule log cake. Then I've got myself a oat latte. Baby Wynn's got her grapes and oats. Baby Wynn? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think she might be teething a little bit today. She's got really hot pink cheeks. Bless you, little munchkin. It's so hard being a puppy. I'll show you guys later, but she was eating. She was eating what I eat, uh, cucumber and mini yogurt with chicken strips. She's a dad. Her daddy's daughter, isn't she? Like grilled chicken strips. Yeah, little foodie baby. Don't look all the good by food train. <laughs> <laughs> Just before we go, I just want to show you how good the pastries look. Which would you have? Pan of chocolate on the left or pan of raisin? Guys, I have been doing some serious meal prepping and I thought I'd show you some of them because I was filming a meal prep video for my Instagram and I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> So we have three different bits. One second, let me get them out. I think I might have one of these now. <laughs> I don't know why there's a grape there. I think that was from earlier when Niall was cutting up grapes for Wynn's oats. <laughs> so this one is a chicken rice alioli bowl. So essentially it's like quite a garlicky, creamy chicken dish. And then the pomegranate is actually really nice because it adds that little bit of fresh sweetness to it. 
but I feel like it looks stunning. This one as well is really cool because it's essentially just like a posh pot noodle. So it's got all your veggies in, some miso paste, chicken mints, noodles, and what you do is you leave it like that in the fridge, but then when you want to eat it, you just add the boiling water and pop it in a bowl, and it's really, really yummy. And then this one is the mango protein pot, which I'm just about to have. So it's got like yogurt with protein powder and then some homemade mango sorbet stuff with some granola. But yeah, just thought I'd show you them because I'm very proud of how they look. <laughs> Thanks to Niall's book. <laughs> Any mums out there, please tell me I'm normal. <laughs> so I woke up this morning and I just feel so needy for Winnie. <laughs> I feel like my brain can't concentrate or focus on anything because all I want to do is like just stare at her and squish her and just be with her every second. She's currently having a nap so I, c I can't join her in the cot. That would be strange. <laughs> Although I actually want to today. <laughs> and usually in the naps I'm like right hands free let's do what we can. <laughs> but today I just keep looking at the monitor being like Oh, I just want to swish it. I don't know what it is. I think it's just my hormones today. It's crazy actually how much like I understand the effect of hormones more than ever since pregnancy and postpartum and just, I don't know, I just feel like my hormones are wild. <laughs> Sometimes you just wake up and feel a certain way and it is usually just your hormones And I think since kind of accepting that and just and I feel these kind of ways Randomly and you know and some days I feel super emotional Sometimes I'm like on an absolute high and feel like on top of the world and like I've got everything together And some days I'm like crying in the corner <laughs> Some days I'm like I just want to squish my baby all day all day long <laughs> I remember that it is my hormones. I think it's like acceptance where you're like, it's okay, it's the hormones, they're talking, and not. I try not to kind of fight it so much. And even whether you're postpartum or pregnant, women in general, our hormones are mental. <laughs> and I think, you know, once you sort of get to know them and accept them and appreciate them for what they are, and like, sometimes when you actually look at your cycle as well, I find, you're like, ah, that is why I'm feeling this because I'm at that time of the month. It just makes things feel a bit easier and you feel a bit less crazy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's my morning thoughts for you this morning. <laughs> Meal prep and hormones. <laughs> anyway, I actually have some parcels which I want to open up with you because I ordered a couple of bits for the house to just kind of like spring it up a bit and just add some colour and I don't know just it's very like grey and dark a lot of the time this time of year in the UK I don't know if you can really see let me let me show you my garden because it's not looking its finest right now at all <laughs> actually it doesn't look awful but I think it's just the sort of dark blue colouring to our everyday <laughs> most days this time of year so I just want to kind of like Add a few touches, get some flowers. I really want to get some daffodils actually because that was my grandma's favourite, favourite flower. And I feel like they're just, they're just like sunshine. They're so pretty and they just, they're that sign of spring is in the air. Actually, I think I can see some in our garden but they haven't got the flower heads yet. I'm hoping they have them in the shop. <laughs> yeah, I can actually. We've got, we have quite a lot in our garden when it comes to spring. But... They're just stems at the moment. So I'd like to go and see if I can find some in a shop because they also do remind me of my grandma. I just keep having moments at the moment where I'm really, really missing her. And just like I've said before, whenever like Wynne hits a new milestone and I feel like she's sort of going through a lot of development at the moment. So I feel it a bit more. I want to tell my grandma and I can't. So it's a weird thing, isn't it, Grief? Because you just miss them, but you know you can't see them again. And it's just such a weird concept where it's just like, when it happens, when I feel these things and think these things and think, oh, I wish I could see her again, but I know I can't. I feel like my brain tries to shut it down so that I don't think into it too much and get really upset. But yeah, I just, I've been feeling it quite a bit recently. So I'd like to just try and fill the house with daffodils because they 
make me feel like maybe she's she's in the air in a way <laughs> i'm gonna do that but i did also get a couple of bits like a little table garland and a new wreath for the door and a doormat i'm gonna open the doormat i don't think the garland and the wreath have come yet because i ordered them from a place called lights for fun which by the way have really really nice seasonal things our christmas lights <laughs> which are still on the front of our house i, I think i did tell you during vlogmas didn't i that we don't take them down because <laughs> you can't really tell oh my god there's a robin robin there's a robin oh it's gone aren't robins a sign that someone is someone you love is near because he was literally just on top of the christmas tree lights that i was just talking about anyway what was i saying yeah Christmas lights on the door, on the front of the house, we don't take down because you can't really tell they're there when they're not on. And then when it comes round to Christmas, you don't have to go through the faff of putting up lights on your house again. <laughs> they're from Lights for Fun, they've got really good Christmas lights, but they've also got really nice autumn bits. And I saw that they had some nice spring bits as well, like really pretty, sort of purpley flowered garlands, which I think will be arriving today. So I'm hoping I'll be able to show you in this video. But I did also pick up a new doormat because we still have our pumpkin one out there at the moment. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know I like to match my door to the season. <laughs> and they had this really lovely one on next, which there just to give a nice welcome when people come into the house also got a few other bits from next which are because we're going away in a couple of weeks for my birthday so i got winnie a couple of new things because all her summer bits obviously are much too small for her now look at these guys i found these little cycling shorts they came in a pack i think next is probably my favorite place for baby clothes but with just a little vest and a little hat she's gonna look so cute i love that they're cycling shorts as well i just feel like it's adorable this was super cute and she could wear it here as well because it's kind of like kind of summery but oh look at the cherries but like if you wanted it to be a bit if it was a bit hotter you could swap the stripy top underneath for like a little vest and just have the dungs the dungs <laughs> i don't know why i just called them dungs and then actually the other thing i got from next was some little cocktail glasses which are such a cute shape hang on i'm gonna have to just get something to open this one sec how nice these are Oh, I feel like they're so pretty. They kind of look like peonies and I love a peony. I think they must be coming back into season soon. But they've got like a very slight pink tinge. And I just thought they'd be lovely. It's not that I've actually had a cocktail in a while. Do you know what? Me and Niall accidentally did dry jam. We just were like, you know what? We just got out of the habit of like having a glass of wine with dinner. Because I do love a, a glass of white, white wine. Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. I mean... You just can't go wrong, but we did do dry jam. However, we're not in Jan anymore. <laughs> I have had a glass of wine. And not that they're wine glasses though, but I feel like espresso martini in there would be really, really lovely. I love an espresso martini, but I just thought they looked gorgeous. Then a few other bits I got, which I thought I'd show you. <laughs> I ordered these off Amazon for when we go away which apparently are very, very good and kind of Verity vibes. If any of you have not read Verity by Colleen Hoover and you like like a thriller, definitely have a read, but apparently these are just as good. So this is the first one. I, I even like went for the second one, even though I don't know if I like the first yet, but there was an overwhelming sense on Instagram when I asked that they're very good. So I trust. I trust people's opinions. <laughs> and then one more thing I picked up were some earrings from a brand called Nemoro, which is Naomi Jean's new jewelry brand she started. And she has some gorgeous like gold jewelry, which I love. These are so nice. I love like a sort of chunkier gold stud at the moment. I've got like some little hearts that I got from Lavisa when I was in town recently and I wear them all the time. 
So I thought these would be gorgeous and they feel like really nice quality. She's recently started it and she has some gorgeous, gorgeous bits of jewellery that aren't too expensive but still good quality, don't go green or anything like that. So yeah, anyway, that's my little parcel opening. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's biting his ears. <laughs> this dog is literally a real life teddy bear. She is honestly the sweetest little soul, aren't you? I just called her to come upstairs. Give her a haircut, which she doesn't yet know, which she thinks we're just having a cuddle, I think. She doesn't love a haircut, but. She very much needs one, as you can probably see she is a walking fluff ball. <laughs> when I called her, she literally sprinted. <laughs> I feel so bad because I always worry that she gets jealous because she is like a little human being. Oh, we have another visitor. Welcome, would you like a haircut too, sir? <laughs> can you hear now sing it downstairs? What was I saying? <laughs> I almost got distracted. <laughs> Yeah, I always worry about her because she's like a little human being. I swear she can understand everything that humans do. She's not a very dog dog, she's a person dog. I'm sure any of you guys who've got dogs will know because Basil is a dog dog. He's obsessed with dogs. He would just be happy with anyone and any dog. Bluebell, however, if she's not with me and Niall, I feel like her heart is not happy <laughs> and she just understands people and she like loves people doesn't love dogs i always worry about her because we get slightly less time just me and you these days don't we bub and i do worry because dogs do get jealous of babies don't they sometimes but i think you're okay but you do love when we get to have some one-on-one -on -one snuggles so cute, I can't do. Anyway, I've come upstairs because I'm gonna give her a haircut, but I thought that I would have a chat with you while I do it. <laughs> chat with you about contraception and how it's all going post-birth. And I have chatted over the years many times about this and like just what's going on and just my journey with it. I feel very comfortable talking openly about it now. I remember, <laughs> I actually remember must have been two years before I got pregnant because it was when I started using um, natural cycles which is the non-hormonal contraception that I now use and have done since which is an app and I remember when I first went to use it and started talking about it on a vlog back then I was so embarrassed <laughs> which is silly because I don't know it's just one of those things isn't it which at first until you do start talking openly, it feels like embarrassing. But I'm definitely not embarrassed anymore, particularly after giving birth. And I feel like anyone after you give birth, you just have no care anymore of like body things. You just like whip it out. <laughs> Everyone's seen it all, but I used to be quite shy back in the day. I just thought we could have a discussion. And actually this part of the video is partnered with Natural Cycles, which is so cool because I worked with them for the first time a few months back when I talked to you about what I was doing quite soon after I gave birth and it was the first time I'd worked with them then but I'd been using it for about three years before so I used it for two years as contraception and then you can actually switch the app to try and help you plan for a pregnancy as well which is what I did before we had Win, and then I started using it again after she came as contraception. <laughs> I've actually just had I'm having my second period right now, <laughs> seven months after she was born. So often like after you give birth, your period sort of disappears for a while. I think particularly if you're breastfeeding, it can take longer to come back. Anyway, <laughs> I will probably go into this. I did put up a little question box on Instagram so that I could answer some questions that are a bit more like direct to what you guys want to know. I just thought I'd share some Bits and how it works, she knows now. She's like, the door's shut, why can't I go out? We've got the hair cut and scissors, don't we, baby? But you are shaggy. <laughs> Her legs are, they look like they've got highlights. I mean, I can't fully cut that off, but we will just trim it to make you look a little bit more, a little bit more presentable. You get lots of knots in your hair, don't you, baby? <laughs> 
if you don't know what natural cycles is it's an app where you can track your cycle and basically you take your temperature every morning so it is regulated by your temperature and then it kind of works out your every woman's unique cycle now this is not going to be what everyone wants to do i actually used to for years before this use the contraceptive pill i think i was on it for about 10 years from when i was 15 to about 25 and it worked for me for a long time but i just found that it really flattened my mood and i've told this story quite a few times so i'll tell it very briefly but just so i can give a bit of a backstory of when i went on it and if any of you guys are finding the same because one of my friends at the time when i switched to natural cycles she recommended to me to do it because she had also felt this where I just felt like I didn't really have highs or lows. It worked for years and I think maybe after a while it just sort of tapered off and stopped working well for me. For some people it'll work absolutely fine and it's just might not be what you care for but if you are looking for something that isn't hormonal then Natural Cycles is brilliant. It's natural, it's non-invasive and it was actually developed by scientists so it is like an official thing. I think some people as well worry that it isn't, but it definitely is. Essentially what you do is you take your temperature every morning and then track it in the app, and the app slowly will figure out your cycle. So you have green days and red days. If you're using it as contraception, the green days... You hear that radio? <laughs> but the green days are the days where you aren't fertile and you're good to go and then you'll have red days where those are essentially your fertile days so you want to either withdraw <laughs> or use an extra form of protection like condoms so on the days where i have red days if we have sex then i will use well lyle will use a condom so we are being safe this as well which i didn't know about before i tracked my cycle like this is that you actually can't get pregnant any day of the month I know it might sound obvious to some of you, but for a long time I didn't know that, but there are technically only six days in the month where you are actually fertile. So it will work that out gradually. Now at first when you start using it, I remember, and actually I think someone did ask me this. Yeah, someone asked how long after stopping the pill will the ovulation days be accurate on natural cycles? Because when you start using it, it will need to work out your algorithm by you inputting your temperature and um, it just will need some time so you will have more red days to be safe until it starts to understand what is going on with your body because you know if your periods are all over the place after you come off the pill which mine were I'm pretty sure let me go back how long it took me to get like a regular yeah so the first month October 2020 <laughs> I had all red days the whole month so that month I used condoms as well but I just knew that it was a process and eventually it would start to work it out and I would be able to have green days where the app knew that it was safe and I think November the next month still I just didn't have much because I think I didn't have a period for a couple of months after I came off the pill because my body was sort of adjusting back to normal maybe like three months I think it took a while for my period to come back and my temperature and cycle to become you know consistent so the app would know what was going on with my body so it can take a little while when you first start using it to get a lot of green days which are the safe safe days from being fertile um but it will come the thing i really found when i did start tracking my cycle which i feel like is a huge huge game changer just to life <laughs> was the fact that I like I was talking about earlier just started to understand myself more so I knew why I was feeling a certain way if my period was coming or you know it was my ovulation time and you feel different ways like you have different energy levels you have different like stress levels depending on your hormones and your time of the month and what's going on with your body and tracking my cycle and knowing all, what all these things meant just was a huge game changer so after i had win and i was back to like my body not being regular with anything and not having a period and not knowing what, what my body was doing it actually reminded me of back when i was on the pill and i didn't know what my body was doing back then either so it's hugely beneficial in that sense as well where you 
will just learn about your body so much more and be so much more in tune with it. That's what I found anyway. How do you remind yourself to take your temperature each day at the same time? Well, I use a thermometer. You can use your Apple Watch if you have one. And there is also a thing called an Aura Ring, which I don't have, but that also is another thing that you can use to link. I just make sure I've got my thermometer next to my bed. So I have it next to my journal and I just, it's just like a, it becomes a habit after a while. So literally when you wake up, before you get out of bed, take your temperature. Yeah, I would just say, just make sure you have it next to you. That's the only thing you can do. It's one of those things where it's like only you can make sure you do that, but just have it next to the bed, on your bedside table, right there. <laughs> <laughs> just gradually it will become just second nature to get it and quickly take it it literally takes two seconds did you find being on contraception affected your sex drive yes i did i actually did when i was on the pill i feel like it dulled it a lot <laughs> and when i came off i just felt like a cloud had lifted that is the only way i can describe it and that, i'm not just saying that either honestly it just it will not be the same for every woman it could be the complete opposite and you could be better on the pill than off you know emotionally but definitely for me i felt like everything lifted <laughs> i just felt like i had like ups and downs again i felt like like i don't know how to describe it anymore because it was so long ago that i stopped using it now but yeah it, it just felt like a cloud had lifted and my sex drive was back <laughs> So I think it dulled it near the end massively. I feel like that's probably most of the sort of general questions on natural cycles, but if you are looking for something non-hormonal for your contraception, I would 100% recommend giving it a go if it sounds like your thing. Obviously, have a little bit more of a look into it if it's right for you and your situation, because it might not be. But if you've been thinking about it, I would 100% go for it. Just make sure you track and do your temperature <laughs> and keep that thermometer next to your bed. But if you are interested in trying it, I do have a discount code so you can get 15% off and a free thermometer if you use the code Megan, which I'll pop on screen, the double G. <laughs> Even though my name's actually one. <laughs> So it's so funny, Niall hates it when I cut the dog's hair. I think because I always try and make their ears nice and short so that it's easy to maintain and you know, takes a while to grow back. <laughs> He's always like, what have you done? They look like Lord Farquaad. I need to actually give this bit a trim too. And the Grinch paws need a little bit of a sort out, but you look beautiful, little blue. Whether you're Shaggy or you're Lord Farquaad, but we'll just... We're going with Lord Fardquart today. <laughs> and there we have it. Half of Bluebell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> she is just so fluffy. Okay, we've come in on the hunt for daffodils. I can see tulips, gorge. Some up there as well, like the yellow ones and the baby pink. Can't see any daffodils. Oh, I love these yellow roses as well. Oh dear, not sure if we've got any daffodils, Bubba. Gorgeous. Oh, I just love flowers this time of year. They're so colorful, aren't they? What, what should we go for, Bub? Look at these roses. Beautiful. No daffodils there. Oh wait, oh no actually. I think that's a few in there, like little baby ones. Maybe we'll get a mix. So many nice ones though. Look at those pink roses. Oh, I love them. Oh, I might have to get them for myself. <laughs> pink and red roses. Should I get them for you, bud? We say they're for baby win. Because it's your seven month birthday on Monday. Mission accomplished. How gorgeous are these springy flowers? I really love them. These were actually also like last chance reduced, so I'm hoping they won't just suddenly die. <laughs> but they look beautiful. And they've got, I don't know if these are technically daffodils, but they're like those baby ones, but I think they have a different name. And they've got some tulips. I think these, are these bluebells? I feel like they could be, which is 
super cute because of baby blue <laughs> over there too. Oh. But yeah, I feel like this looks gorgeous. And this was the garland I was talking about, which I ordered from Lights for Fun. And I can actually put some batteries in there so they light up, which I feel like will look so nice as well. But how pretty does that look? We've got some more over there. We've got some up there. We've got some over there. Please excuse the mess as well. I feel like when you've got a baby, your house just never looks tidy. <laughs> also, this was the other thing that came from Lights for Fun, which I was talking about. Don't we think this is so pretty? Hang on, I'm trying to get some non-fake light. But it's either blue or bright orange. <laughs> so lovely, it's a faux one, but it kind of, I, I don't know, I don't think it is dried flowers, but it has a bit of a dried flower feel. I'm pretty sure it's actually tissue paper. Yeah, I think it is. But it does have that dried, actual real flower effect. But I'm gonna pop this on the door. How beautiful. This has to be one of my favorite wreaths we've ever put on our door. Stunning, I love the colors. And it also looks really nice with the color of our door. But yeah, it's crazy how much, uh, how nice a few flowers can make your house feel. And just, I mean, it is still extremely gray and dark, but it just brightens things a bit. Makes me feel a bit more alive. I thought I would run through the new Bluey Valentine's collection. So I was on the shoot in the last video, but I don't think I actually really showed you anything. <laughs> that shoot day was so mental and I just thought it would be easier anyway to just kind of run you through everything. A bit nearer the time as well, because this is launching on Valentine's Day. So it's two days after this vlog goes up at 5 p.m. UK time. But if you sign up to early access, which I'll put the link in the description box, you can shop an hour early before everybody else officially can get on the website. But this is the collection. So we have four colors. Now the Midnight Black, we already launched, but we just brought it back because everybody loves a black gym legging and we currently don't have any of these in stock. So she is back. And then we have our deep olive. We have our blueberry and our purple fig. So those are our four colors. Now they come in our staple gym leggings, which we have done for a while now. They're our best selling item. People seem to really love them. I'm so happy you guys seem to love them. They're my favorite gym legging. <laughs> I feel like we've perf perfected them over time and I just love them. I wear them all the time. I actually am gonna throw one of these on quickly in a second and go for a run before all the daylight leaves us because I'm too scared to run in the dark. Yeah, they're our staple gym legging, which we have done before, but in our brand new shades. So, what I'm gonna do, I think, is pop some videos and pictures on screen whilst I chat you through these, just so you can see them on. But because I have worn these a lot <laughs> in different shades, I thought it, we don't really need to do like a full try on haul. I'll try and put some pictures of the models to show you in different sizes too, what everything looks like. They're squat proof, they're sweat proof, they have the bum scrunch, but it's very subtle. So it's not like in your face, but it makes your bum look incredible. Um, it's our recycled yarn as well. It's got the updated waistband we did on our recent leggings. So it's slightly thicker and comes down slightly more. So it's got better tummy control than our old, old ones did. But it's not like too compact on your skin. So it kind of squishes you, which I hate. So when I was pregnant, I did wear the bluey leggings, which you may have seen last year. I just went up a size. So I wear a size small in the leggings again, but when I was pregnant, I wore a medium. So the waistband actually even feels nice on a bump, which is quite rare to find a nice comfy gym legging I found when I was pregnant. That's the leggings. And then we have our two new sports bras, which is very exciting. So this is our butterfly back sports bra, which as you can see kind of has the abstract butterfly look to it. It's so beautiful on. This is our lower support. This is our higher support one. So due to it being very strappy and the waistband being relatively shallow, it's not like your most supportive sports bra so if you are bigger boobed this one is much better yeah it's gorgeous it's got the removable pads it looks so nice on the back I've always wanted to do a strappy bra with bluey but I wanted to do something unique and I feel like this was the perfect interesting design that really suited the brand because if you didn't already know as well bluey as a brand 
revolves around butterflies so if you can see the logo is half a butterfly wing and the reason I wanted to base the brand around butterflies back when we came up with the concept of the whole business is because firstly I think they're great <laughs> I love them I used to collect not, I didn't used to collect butterflies, but I used to collect caterpillars <laughs> when I was a kid and then look after them until they became butterflies and then I'd open my window. I had a little window like this in my room. I'd open it and let them fly away. <laughs> I just loved caterpillars for some reason. <laughs> but I feel like they just represent so many amazing things. You know, they represent growth, the way they go from a caterpillar to a cocoon to a butterfly. And, you know, every single butterfly you see looks different not any two will ever look the same their patterns different their shapes will always be slightly different and i feel like that is exactly the same as women so yeah that was a big reason why bluey revolves around butterflies and then when we came up with this strappy back i just felt like it was perfect and then this is our square neck cross back bra so it still has a beautiful back you can see it's got the thicker straps but also the waistband is a lot thicker and it's a little bit stronger so it suctions you a little bit more and actually when you wear this it's a little bit like a corset where it sort of cups under the boob and then comes down if that makes sense and the square neck I feel is just beautiful it looks so nice on the neckline yeah that is bluey valentines if you would like to grab anything then make sure you sign up to early access i'm really really excited i can't wait to see what you guys think and to see what you think of the colors because i've always wanted to do this color i actually wanted to do this color with bow and tea but we never got around to it and it's the exact shade that i picked from the swatches so we decided to do it with bluey which i feel like yeah it's been a long time coming Oh, look who it is! Look who it is! So, um, Megan doesn't, Megan's gone out for a run. She doesn't know that I've, uh, I picked up the camera. And she actually doesn't, I'm not just saying that, but I thought, uh, I don't know, I thought she would like it if I picked up the camera and had a chat. She's always asking me to, and sometimes I'm a bit shy, so I thought, you know what? I'll pick up the camera. Uh, me and Winnie are watching Star Wars, so when I go on Disney+, Plus. I head to Star Wars, I'm watching The Bad Batch, it's like a cartoony sort of thing. And I'm pretty sure that's not what Megan would pick, but Megan's never watched Star Wars in her entire life, Win. So you've already beaten Mummy to that. Uh, Winnie is looking at my uh, chicken and feta pie, which is going to be on The Good Bite soon. Um, I've not just come on here to promote The Good Bite, by the way, but uh, she is like so good with food. She literally wants to try everything. I don't know if that's normal, but I could pick out anything from this bowl and she's gonna wanna try it. Look, let's try a little bit of, try a little bit of pepper. You want that, don't you, baby? Look at that. <gasps> you want that? Ooh. I think she really likes flavors, which is really cool. This actually might be Megan. She's actually, <laughs> well, this is gonna be such a surprise for us. You <laughs> yeah. When he is obsessed with my chicken and feta pie. Oh really? Have you told have you told, told him about the my book at all? About like the sales and say uh, thank you. Another one. Yeah, you did on the last vlog. What the twenty K sales? Oh no, I don't think you said the number. Yeah, so uh no. I'm not like one to boast about I'm really not boasting about the numbers. <laughs> No, but I mean, it's not, it's big for me, but you know, some books sell way, way more than I've sold, but um, but like, I, yeah, I mean, a little secret, my goal was to sell 5,000 books overall, and so a month or a month and a half in, we've, we got over 20,000, so I'm guessing a lot of people that watch these vlogs, um, and the people, <laughs> which means you got subjected to uh, all that, yeah, all that vlogmas, <laughs> uh, shameless plug-in, but those pre-orders did really help because, I mean, so if you get a lot of pre-orders, it means that you're going to chart higher on the Amazon charts and then more people will see the book and buy it when it's actually published. And then also, um, if you get more pre-orders, it means the supermarkets are going to take more of a look at you, which they did. And I'm guessing a lot of people are just buying the book from supermarkets. So yeah, big thank you to you guys. And I was going to say, 
a lesson to like not doubt yourself, but I actually don't think that's a good message. I think you should doubt yourself. You've got to stay humble, haven't you? You've got to stay, yeah, because to be honest, when I was writing the book, every single day I would wake up full of self-doubt and I think if I write another one it, it will be less so but I just every day I literally thought I'm not good enough to write this book why the hell am I writing this book why have they chosen me to write this book but I just think it made me probably write the best book that I could so it's like it's finding a balance you want to doubt yourself enough to make sure that you're trying to be the best you can be but then also you don't want to be so full of self-doubt that the process becomes un unenjoyable so i think it's about trying to find that balance and uh yeah if i write a second book i think i'll hopefully uh, strike a better balance with that but yeah i mean i woke up most days writing that book just feeling pretty shit and just thinking like this is just not this is not going to go well but it's gone really well so yeah that's my little spiel thanks for your orders guys me and winner are going to go for a bath we're gonna go for a bathy. I was telling them this morning that I feel needy for him. Particularly Do you? today. Oh, she's so cute though. Oh, the woman's she's... I was thinking earlier, um, I just, yeah, I just actually love spending time with her. <laughs> Like, no, I'm, no, but it's like my favourite thing to do now. Yeah. Just she was just sat there. I just put on a program and have some food. Yeah, nothing with her is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, just and just watching, watching, watching her. Look at she's looking at my pie again. Yeah. Do you want a bit of pie, mm, Colin? Then jumping. what do you want? A little bit of chicken, don't you? Oh, a she bit of chicken. She likes Star Wars as well. Yes. I was saying she's already beaten you in the amount of Star Wars she's watched in her lifetime. She seems to really like flavours. Yeah, she, and not she just grew sweet it in ones. My belly from mm. your food. There you go. I wonder if that actually does work out. We've got a good oh. good bite baby. Good bite baby. A good ba baby bite. A, a baby bite. You're oh, a little baby, baby bite, bite, aren't you? Oh. Be a bit tangy. What's your first word going to be? Mama? Dada? She likes Star Wars. Uncle Carl? Yeah, probably. <laughs> She's obsessed with Carl. <laughs> she does love Carl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder how she'll say <laughs> Carl. She probably won't be able to say that, will she, for a while? Ka. Carl. Carl. That's what I say. Cow. Uncle Carl. Uncle Carl. From... <laughs> you want more pie? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love that she still does that. Ooh, I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> the champion. Anyway, we'll go for a bath. I'll give you some some feta pie when we come out the bath. No. 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 Right, I'm a vlogger. I'm a I'm a vlogger again. I just, did I just become a vlogger? Eight and a half minutes. Thanks. I got to edit that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good evening, guys. I am um, snuggled up in possibly the comfiest blanket I own. Where is this from? Oh, I think this was the next one. Love a bit of next. But I am um, snuggled up in the corner of the sofa, my favourite spot, which everyone tries to steal from me. I don't think you can hear me, but Niall does, my mum does, Carl does. Anyone that's here just seems to want the the corner. We all race for it. <laughs> but I am about to watch a bit of EastEnders, followed by a bit of Love Island. I am actually really enjoying All Stars. You're quite enjoying All Stars too, aren't you? Know? Yeah, I've been watching it. Yeah, I would, I would, you know, I can't deny that, you know? <laughs> That's not what you were going to say. Yeah, I'm yeah. partial to a yeah, bit of Love Island. Right there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. You could have finished so long without mentioning that I've been watching Love Island. <laughs> Yeah, but you always try and make out that it's not good, but you always watch it. Well... It's one of it's them, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it's one of them where it's just... Nah, it, it is entertaining. Nice nothing telly to watch at the end of the day, you know? But yeah, I'm actually I'm really enjoying all sounds. I feel like there's some nice people in there. Who else is watching it? Who do you like? I like Molly. I like Sophie. I like Molly. Bet you like Molly, because she's fit. I think Tom's quite fit though, you know? She's great. She's great. He's 
Grey. Grey. <laughs> when I put my glasses on for a bit and then take them off, I feel like everything in my brain goes fuzzy, not just my eyesight. Anyone else have that? Also, did I even say I got glasses? <laughs> Some people on Instagram would be like, are you just wearing them for fashion all of a sudden? But no, I very much need them when I watch telly and when I drive. Basically, I went in the optician said that I was on the verge of being illegal to drive. So we got some. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do that. So I keep you all in, probably catching it. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I feel like it's been super, super chatty but i hope you don't mind that and i will hopefully see you very soon in my next one which will probably be up next monday too so i will see you there